A groundbreaking project led by the American company Gravitix, with support from a $60 million Stratfy contract awarded by the U.S. Space Force's Space WRX, aims to revolutionize space defense. Set to demonstrate its capabilities by 2026, the orbital aircraft carrier concept represents a major leap forward in strategic space operations, offering rapid satellite deployment from Earth's orbit to respond swiftly to threats. The orbital carrier, a space equivalent of a naval aircraft carrier, is designed to launch small satellites and deploy them directly from orbit, significantly reducing response times. The first prototype, a smaller version, is slated for launch in 2026, with a larger version featuring 60 cubic meters of internal space and a launch mass between 5,000 and 10,000 kilograms to follow. The design consists of a cylindrical module enveloped in solar panels, which will unfold in space to create a non-pressurized compartment for the release of satellites based on real-time requirements. This program diverges from traditional strategies, which often focus on launching replacement satellites from Earth. The orbital carrier positions deployment platforms in orbit near strategic zones, allowing for a preemptive stance. This reduces reaction time in the event of satellite disruptions, such as those caused by electronic warfare or other forms of attack. Gravitic CEO, Colin Duen, likens the system to naval aircraft carriers, which allow military assets to be stationed near areas of interest. In space, these carriers will ensure the same rapid response, only in a vastly different operational environment. As space warfare becomes more autonomous and reliant on sophisticated, reactive systems, the orbital carrier aims to address these demands. The platform will transport maneuverable satellites that can be deployed to counter satellite disruptions caused by electronic jamming or laser interference. These capabilities are critical in ensuring rapid restoration of lost services, such as surveillance or communication satellites, which are vital to military operations. This project is particularly relevant in the context of increasing geopolitical tensions in space. The United States faces mounting challenges from China and Russia, both of which have expanded their space capabilities and conducted simulations of space combat. The U.S. is moving to close the gap in its ability to assert dominance in low Earth orbit, a key area for military and strategic operations. General Chance Saltzman, Chief of Space Operations for the U.S. Space Force, has emphasized the need for superior orbital capabilities to counteract these growing threats. In response, specialized units within the U.S. Space Force have been formed to handle counter-satellite operations and defend against orbital attacks. A notable example is the Victox Knox mission, launched in 2023 by Firefly Aerospace, which successfully deployed a payload in less than 30 hours. While this represents a significant achievement in rapid deployment, the orbital carrier is designed to be even more agile, eliminating the need for ground-based launches and enhancing unpredictability in military space operations. Alongside its military-focused projects, Gravitix is also expanding its reach in the commercial space sector. The company recently secured a $125 million contract with Axiom Space to develop a pressurized module for its commercial space station, further cementing its role as a key player in both defense and civilian space initiatives. The geopolitical implications of these advancements cannot be overstated. The U.S. has raised concerns about China's development of anti-satellite systems, which could pose a threat to the safety and integrity of American space assets. The orbital carrier aims to offer a robust response, with mobile, modular platforms capable of ensuring continuity and resilience in the event of an attack. However, the rapid militarization of space raises important legal and ethical questions. The 1967 Outer Space Treaty prohibits the placement of weapons of mass destruction in orbit but allows for conventional military activities. As nations develop new space-based defense systems, the need for clear international regulations becomes more urgent. The rise of technologies like the orbital carrier highlights the necessity of a multilateral framework to prevent space from becoming a highly contested and militarized environment. The Orbital Carrier Project signifies a transformative step in U.S. space defense doctrine, aiming to provide a strategic advantage by offering faster and more flexible responses to emerging threats. As this new capability unfolds, it will likely shape the future of military operations in space, creating both opportunities and challenges in the quest for space superiority.